Hello widget watchers, are you tired enough to creating those boring login and sign up screens in your Flutter app, so let's create this engaging login screen, in which when you are adding your mail, then this bear is watching this, and if you type your password then this bear closes his eyes, and is your credentials is incorrect then this bear becomes sad, or if credentials is correct then this bear celebrates. So if this excites you then please stick to the end of this video you will learn how to integrate Rive and how to manipulate them. So here I have an empty project. So for adding the Rive animation in Flutter we need to use Rive package, so come to the pubspec.yaml file and here add the Rive package, then tap on this pub get option to get the package, then go to your browser and go to rive.app, here you can create your own animations, but in this video we are going to use pre-made animation. So on Rive create an account after that you will see this homepage, and afterwards, tap on this see all option from community examples, then here you will see a search bar, so here search for login bear, then you will see the list of animations. So in this video I'm going to use this animation so tap on this animation, so after opening it in the right side you will see the all trigger option, and we will use these trigger options in our flutter code, and you can preview these animation in by changing this animation. Afterwards tap on this preview in Rive option, then it will open this animation in the editor, now if you want to change anything in this animation, then you can do it form here, but in this video we are not going to change anything, so tap on this menu button and then select exports option then tap on for runtime. Then this animation is downloaded. Then go to the project folder and create a folder named assets, then paste this animation in this folder, then scroll down in pubspec and here add the path of assets folder, as I have done here, then come to main.dart file, and meanwhile here I'm creating the simple login screen which will have two text field and two button, I'll tell you the benefits of using Rive animations. So we are using Rive animation because it is very lightweight, and it is very easy to use, and it is very engaging, and it is very easy to manipulate. You can change the animation according to your need, and it is very easy to integrate in Flutter, so I've done with my login page UI, as of now it is very simple page and now let's integrate the Rive animation in this page. So first come above here and here create a variable named Rive URL, and here add the path of the animation, which is assets slash login one dot Rive, then here create SMI trigger variable named fail trigger, success trigger, so these are the triggers which will be used to trigger the animation, then create SMI bool variable named is hands up, is checking. So these are the boolean variables which will be used to change the state of the animation, then create SMI number variable named look number, so this variable will be used to change the state of the animation, then create state machine controller variable named state machine controller, so this controller will be used to control the animation, and create artboard variable named artboard, so this artboard will be used to show the animation. Then here create a init state method, and then inside this method load the Rive file, so here I'm using root bundle to load the Rive file, then after loading the file, create a file variable and then import the file, then create a art variable and then get the main artboard, then create a state machine controller from artboard, and inside it add the artboard and the name of the state machine, then check if the state machine controller is not null, then add the controller to the artboard, then get the inputs from the controller, then check if the element name is is checking then assign it to is checking, then check if the element name is is hands up then assign it to is hands up, then check if the element name is trick success then assign it to fail trigger, then check if the element name is number look then assign it to look number. Then come outside of this for loop and here add the set state method so that UI can be updated. Then here create a look around method, and inside this method change the is checking to true, and is hands up to false, and look number to zero, and we will call this method when we are typing the email, then create a move eyes method, and inside this method change the look number to the length of the value, and we will call this method when we are typing the password, then create a hands up on eyes method, and inside this method change the is hands up to true, and is checking to false, and we will call this method when we are typing the password, then create a login click method, and inside this method change the is checking to false, and is hands up to false, and check if the email is email and password is password then fire the success trigger, else fire the fail trigger, and then call the set state method. 
So now first come inside the column widget and here add a check if the artboard is not null then add a sized box of height 300 and width 500, and inside this add arrive widget, and inside this widget add the artboard, then come to the email text form field and from here on changed method call the move eyes method, and then from on tap method call the look around method. Then come to the password text form field and from here on tap method call the hands up on eyes method. And make the obscure text property to true then come to the login button and from here on pressed method call the login click method. So that was it how we can integrate Rive in Flutter, but there is one more thing which I have missed, come to init state method and inside this set state method, and here assign the art to the artboard, now just hit a run button and see the magic, so here animation is loaded, now let's type email, so when I'm typing the email then this bear is watching me and when I'm typing the password then this bear is closing his eyes. Now let's tap on this login button and the bear is celebrating, but this is not what I want, bear should be sad, because the credentials is wrong, so let's fix the code, so here I've added a wrong condition so let's quickly fix this, so when element name is success we need to trigger success, and here add one more condition for the fail trigger, so now I've restarted the app, now let's type the email and password and tap on the login button, and now the bear is sad, when we have added the wrong credentials, now correct the password and tap on this login button. And now the bear is celebrating, so that was it how we can integrate Rive in Flutter, so if you like this video then please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel, and if you have any queries then please let me know in the comments section, and I'll see you in the next video.